really improving after that first up run where she looked like she definitely needed it. Whereas I keep m mentioning and thinking about Lizzie saying it, GV Assistina looked really, really fit like post-impressionist on the day. It is going to be a mouth-watering Queen Elizabeth. Emma? It's a brilliant race and it sets up so beautifully with pride of Jenny out front. Good luck to Buckaroo having to cut up the rest of the field. Plaster Carousel, no doubt in the world that she has improved since her first up run in the round. But the other one I'm keen to spec each way, Kobalika, quick backup. That's the recipe for success for that guy. You're going to get good odds, that's for sure, Emma. So two to come up. It is the Cox Plate of Sydney. It's a magnificent race, $5 million, a race for the champions. He's a star, Mr. Brightside, can it shine today? But the favourites with Jay Mack and Waller via Sustina. Here's Darren. The raging favourite. Racing now, and Pride of Jenny jumped brilliantly towards the inside. Pride of Jenny in front, Mr. Brightside being sent forward on the outside. And Plaster Carousel goes straight to third. Then came Zayrek, followed by Kovalik at Chea Wolf. Now Buckaroo settles back in the field in front of the favourite via Sustina. The nine-year-old Cascadians last of all. So Pride of Jenny, a long leader in the early part. About four or five lengths in front. Mr. Brightside went forward from the outside and he's happy to sit in a long slipstream of Pride of Jenny. She's already off and gone at the 1,400 metres. She opens up by eight lengths. Mr. Brightside wants to sit back and conserve his energy in second. Three lengths away, Plaster Carousel. Followed then by Zayrek. Further back to Kovalik and then the lone three-year-old Chea Wolf. Via Sestina, the short price favourite, is third last from Buckaroo and Cascadian. Impossibly, his last day of racing is last of all. Well, Pride of Jenny, we expected her to lead by a long way, but seriously, 30 lengths? This is unbelievable. Pride of Jenny with sustained speed going to the 800 metres. I've never seen a horse this far in front in a Group 1. Pride of Jenny, the best part of 25 lengths clear. Mr. Brightside Willow just wants to sit back for the time being, then Plaster Carousel the outside. Further back to Zarek Kovalika, followed by Chea Wolf via Sustina, Buckaroo, and Cascadians last of all. She's still, this is unbelievable. Pride of Jenny, about 30 lengths in front in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. She keeps going, coming up the rise. At the moment, Mr. Brightside is being challenged by Kovalika, and then came Buckaroo uh, via Sustina. She's winding up, she's getting to second, but Pride of Jenny at the 200. My goodness, 15 in front. Declan Bates goes for the whip, riding a ride out. There's no need. This is a demolition job. Pride of Jenny and the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. My, oh, my. Via Sestina second, Mr. Brightside third, Cascadian fourth, then Kovalika, Buckaroo, Plaster Carousel, Chea Wolf, and uh, Zayrek, the ride of the century, Declan Bates. Never seen anything like it, and Darren's seen a lot, and none of us have ever seen anything like it. It was unbelievable. She was nearly a furlong in front at one stage. That straight must have felt like an eternity for Declan. He knew they would come at some stage, but they never, ever got close to her. It is one of the most remarkable performances ever seen on any track in the history of Australian racing. You could hear Darren Flindell saying, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And we were saying exactly the same. Does she run 2,000 metres? By gum, she runs 2,000 metres. And that was a very, very brave ride there from Declan Bakes. He often gets a little bit of criticism, but to see how far back... They were in two different races. It's just extraordinary. And the horses behind her, Via Sestina, Mr Brightside, Cascadian. We're talking about the best of the best. It's one of the most astonishing performances. The difference in one year between this mare, I don't think we've ever seen a five to a six-year-old improve anything like this she's the horse of the year i don't care what happens now she is the horse of the year for 2023 24 that's the performance of a lifetime unbelievable to think that she has made that much improvement we've heard from the stable how she'd put on a lot of condition in that break but also a master stroke from kira ma to be able to get her to this point in her career i echo the thoughts of what peter moody said that second run at the 2000 meters is when you really know whether they can run it out strongly and she just puts horses in a completely different hemisphere she puts them into the pain barrier and they cannot keep up with her the overall time's not crazy crazy quick which is quite interesting but 
Uh, Jason, we have just seen something that is going to live with us forever. We will never forget that, Kieran. Uh, Bruce described it as the best thing you said on a 